Hey guys, it's Ross from Flatpak FX here and in this video I'm going to show you how to film and edit in-camera continuous transitions. Now before we edit anything, you're going to need to film the correct footage. Now because this transition is filmed inside the camera, we need to make sure that we have the correct footage to start with. Now the first thing you'll notice about the camera movements in each of these shots is that the camera is continuously moving in one direction. Now with this particular clip that I've filmed here, you can see that I've started by pointing the camera up into the sky or pointing it at something that's going to cover my entire frame. So in this case, I'm pointing up into the trees. Then I pan down into my action or the thing that you actually want to film. And then it's just a matter of simply panning that camera down towards something on the ground or something that just fully covers that camera up. Now it's really important that you completely cover that camera up when you're panning away. It doesn't have to be a whip pan, but it just has to be a slow, smooth movement in one particular direction. Now just before we move on I make weekly tips and tricks videos just like this one so if you're new here maybe consider subscribing so you don't miss out. Now another really good example of where this effect is used a lot is actually panning up to the sky and then panning down from the sky in a different shot. Now here you can see that in this particular clip I've started by pointing the camera up into the sky then I've panned down onto my action then I've transitioned down behind this wooden rail. Now this is really useful because I can use that wooden rail to actually blend two shots together as part of this transition. So once you've actually filmed your footage, then all you need to do is just simply import it into Premiere and lay out the clips that you're going to use in the rough order that you also want to keep on a new timeline. So here I've just got my four clips laid out in the timeline in the order that I'm actually going to be using them. Now it's just a matter of moving that first clip up and bringing the second clip underneath because we want it to transition. Now I've already picked two points in the sky here that I'm going to transition between. All we need to do because we've already done the camera transition, I can simply take that layer and I'm just going to create a simple fade from one clip to the other. Now the other thing to keep in mind here is you want to cut the end of that clip when it actually finishes panning up or panning down from that so that you don't get any issues when you're trying to match the two shots together. So you want to try and get one clip where it's finishing panning up and the second clip starts where it's panning down. The other thing I've done here is I've also added a bit of a color grade just to help these two skies blend together even more. But you can see because I've shot these correctly in camera, they seamlessly transition together without much editing needed. Now this one here is another example of a transition where I want it to pan down into a new shot. And we're using this rail here to create the transition. So what I'm going to do with this particular one, I'm just gonna move these two up again and move my next shot in. And I want to create a rough mask here and I'm going to create a keyframe for my position of that, of that mask layer. Then it's just a simple matter of animating this mask and I can control where that mask is by using my mask expansion here. And I'm going to create a mask path keyframe. Then it's just a matter of animating that mask so that it follows the edge of that rail down onto my second shot. So then it's just a matter of adjusting that mask and creating some keyframes there to follow the edge of that rail until we reveal the next shot. Now here, because I pan down and the camera goes black, you can just butt up the next shot, which also starts in black here to create another seamless transition. So that's another advantage of pushing the camera into something that's dark to blacken out that screen, because then you can just simply create a straight cut between two shots and it's going to look pretty seamless. So now when I add my CinemaScope and color grade, you can see that we have a finished edit. So you can see this is actually a really simple and easy effect to make. It just takes a little bit of forward thinking and planning when you're actually filming the correct clips. Now, if you want to take this even further, you can even add some speed ramping effects 
where you can actually start your clip faster, slow it down in the middle, and then speed it up towards the end. And that's going to really create an even better seamless transition throughout the finished video. So there you go, guys. That's how you create these continuous camera transitions. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also check out more videos just like this over at flatpackeffects.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.